Joseph Lewis Roisman took a bus, a cab, and here he is. This man traveled more than five hours to visit a girl he's never met before, at least not in person. He started chatting online with her just last night. Then he took a bus and a cab to get here. He thinks the girl he's meeting is 13. So glad you made it. Have a seat. I made some frozen lemonade. Very cool. Yeah, you like lemonade? I do. He was really talking to a decoy from the online watchdog group, Perverted Justice. He's Joseph Roisman, a military man currently enlisted in the Navy. Online, the 21-year-old, calling himself Joseph Roisman 2000, tells the decoy he's completely shaved in his private area, asking in graphic detail what girl wants to give oral sex when a man isn't shaved. The decoy says, I know I don't, and he responds, well, you won't have to worry then. Guess what? I want to change my suit. Does that sound good to you? That really sounds good. I don't have a suit, though. That's okay. You don't really need one. Good deal. Yeah, jump in. It's really warm. I've turned it on a couple hours ago. Sweet. Yeah. As he starts taking off his clothes, he goes in search of the decoy. Instead, he finds me. Keep your hands on your pockets for me. All right. Okay, now I want you to go sit down over on the other side of the bar, please. Right next door. Okay, have a seat. Good, you can put your shirt on. What was your plan? I don't know. Talk. Be talk. Friends. Be friends. Yeah. As long as we're friends, that's fine. As long as I don't, you know, cross that line. But she, you talked about having sex with her in the chat. We did discuss oral sex, but... I want to wrestle you so freaking bad. Wrestle me. I'd let you in just so I could feel you on top of me. Blanket, I want to see you so bad. Honest mistake? Honest mistake. Yes, my first time doing this. First time. First time. If she would have let you, you would have had sex with a girl. With her, no. Do you know that it's illegal to solicit someone who's underage online for sex? Yes. But it seems as though that is what you did here. I mean, you could see how someone would draw that conclusion. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, there's something you've got to know. And that is, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens online for sex. No, there's nothing else for me to say. Okay. Thank you very much. This man's long journey is about to get even longer. As he leaves the backyard and enters the garage, he's arrested. Police department, hands up! Come out, come out, come out. then taken to this booking station, photographed and brought in for questioning. Did you know this no. girl was 13 when you first started talking to her? Yes. Did you guys talk about the possibility of her giving her <laughs> whenever you were talking to her on the internet? I mentioned oral sex, yes. Yeah. Which would lead a reasonable person to, to believe that that might have been in the back of your mind, thinking about it. Oh yeah, it was definitely in the back of my mind. So what would have prevented that from happening if there hadn't been someone there to intervene? self-control. He tells the officer several times that he would not have done anything sexual with a 13-year-old, but finally he admits, yes, I, I, would have, I would have liked to yes. Nothing more. There were a total of three military men caught in this investigation. On the docket today to catch and release a suspected child predator. The next man you'll meet needs little encouragement to take off his clothes, ready to jump in the hot tub. Sweet. Joseph Roisman, 
arrested after being interviewed by NBC's To Catch a Predator. You know this series. The former Navy sailor traveled more than 100 miles by bus, according to prosecutors, planning to meet someone he believed was a 13-year-old girl. Turns out he had been chatting online with a decoy. Well, he was just acquitted with the court's apologies because the judge found that he was entrapped, concluding that Roisman never intended to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. His attorneys claimed he was just there to, quote, cuddle with her and watch a movie. Now his family says they are going to sue NBC and others, but could they possibly win that lawsuit? Let's ask our panel. Former prosecutor Jonas Bilbour and Fox News legal analyst Mercedes Colwyn. Mercedes, could they uh, possibly? I can't even imagine. First of all, forget this justice system and forget this judge. Release that perv to a group of mothers and we'll take care of him. I can't <laughs> believe that these, this family actually has the gall to bring this case. Let's look at this little chat between the 21-year-old and the 13-year-old. He said, oh, don't worry, my private parts are shaven so you won't get hair in your mouth. Um, um, by the way, how old was the last person you had sex with? And all of these, all of this online chatting, and by the way, there's no intent to have sex with this 13-year-old. Meanwhile, he's half naked the moment he hears that, oh, we'll go into the hot tub. What, is he going to cuddle her in the hot tub? And why, if he's just intended to cuddle her, did he have to say that he shaved his private parts and asked about sex? That's it's a very... absolutely outrageous. Very good question, Mercedes. I, I mean, Jonna. <laughs> Yeah, I agree that the allegations here are gross, but let's remember there was no 13-year-old girl. The 13-year-old girl was actually but an he adult thought there decoy. Was. A, 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 I say the prosecutor. Allegedly, he thought there was, but the judge has claimed that, look, he was essentially entrapped and that the group behind this whole case uh, lacked credibility. Explain what that means, that, they, that he was entrapped. Okay, so entrapment in the eyes of the law means getting somebody to do, to commit a crime that they had no predisposition to do. And in this case, this defendant had no criminal history. A lot of the defendants on this, on To Catch a Predator have no criminal history. And that because he was chatting online with an adult, that he was essentially entrapped. But That's nobody, why the judgment nobody is forced him, Mercedes, to, to say yes to exactly. meeting with a girl he thought or who said she was 13 years old. And he reportedly admitted to the detective that he did believe she was 13. And that's what's so outrageous. He goes on this 110 mile ride, bus ride, to meet this 13 year old to watch movies and cuddle with her. How is I mean, he possibly it, going to file a lawsuit, Mercedes? What I mean, jury is going to listen to him say that he's a victim? Exactly right. I mean, the jury's going to say this judge got it wrong based because all this evidence is going to come through. And frankly, he's a fool because the protections he would have in the criminal court, meaning his deposition, his testimony, he's going to be compelled now to testify under oath and detail in full detail the motivation what he wrote what he said and by the way that that online chat is off because i went on the internet to look for it it's off but he's got to show that he's got to show that as part of his evidence so all of this is going to come forward much of which but you know, didn't get to the jury in the criminal court. you know what you know what i think about when i hear this though jonna is mm -hmm. first of all the guy you know if he is totally innocent and had no intent he was he was in the navy got kicked out his whole life has been turned upside down his parents right. say they've spent a hundred thousand dollars trying to defend him on what they say are trumped up bogus charges Right. And the jurors who were sitting there re getting ready to render a verdict, but the judge took the case from them and said, you don't even get the case. There's so little case here, I'm throwing it out because mm -hmm. I, it's so clear the guy's been entrapped. The jurors who were interviewed, at least one of them said they felt bad for him, his life had been ruined, and they really thought that, uh, this, that this perverted justice that NBC partners with on this mm -hmm. had overstepped its bounds. I mean, that, that speaks volumes. It does, and that that will probably be the reason why he will get some money in the civil lawsuit. He, sh you know, if he sues NBC and perverted justice, his claim should be this: it's one thing to catch a predator; it's another thing to concoct one. And they essentially created this crime, but, and but, he wasn't but, but a criminal. But I think jury. the average person, Mercedes, doesn't understand because it's like if 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 neither one, none of us could be. Right you know, in tra forced into sure. agreeing to go meet a 13-year-old. Exactly. True. Exactly. I mean, frankly, even if he says, well, look, the decoy, well, now he knows it's a decoy, but the 13 young was bringing up the subject matter of, of intimacy and sex. So, of course, I engaged him. Hey, you're the 21-year-old having this conversation with you, believe as a 13-year-old, disengage and says, listen, this is not the type of talk that I want to engage in and pull out because you're the adult. Don't yeah. say that somehow you're entrapped because the subject matter was brought up. Like they, made, they made him do it. Exactly. Exactly. No gun to his head, no duress. It's all bogus. Well, we'll see. The family says uh, that they are going to sue uh, NBC in particular for more than $100,000. Panel, thank you.
Thank you, Megan. One final word. This guy doesn't sound like a victim to me. He admits he believed the girl was 13. He wanted to eat fruit off of her. That's what he said. And cuddle. Please. Even if he does file a civil suit, what jury would be sympathetic to him? I don't know. Can you imagine the cross-examination?